Welcome to the Solar Decathlon Minute. It's day two of the assembly period and event director Richard King tells us why it's so important for these teams to get their houses built on time. So it's crucial that they get done in the time allotted because on October 8th the contest starts and they need to start accruing points right from that morning. Today we're going to talk to two teams. One's a veteran from the Missouri Science and Technology University and the other's a rookie team from Clemson University. First, meet the event veterans. Our house is the Nest Home and this is our sixth time competing in the Solar Decathlon. Our construction assembly strategy is actually based off of our mistakes from 2013. We have come up with a couple different ways to modify our construction to make it better. Um, for example, we used an entirely steel foundation so that the wood doesn't warp during transportation. Um, and instead of leveling using piers, we're using screw jacks. So it's much easier and faster to level the house. And as you can see, all of our house sections actually fit on four standard sized trucks. So our team doesn't have to worry about oversized loads or getting stopped at state borders. It's all, you know, very smooth transportation process. So we actually finished setting up our foundation by last night. We got to leave site a little bit early um, and it's been completely approved by the inspector. So we're excited to pass our first inspection. So right now we are actually craning our shipping containers into place. Um, we have three of them. So they'll be arranged on the, the frames that are currently empty on the house. After that, we'll be able to, to crane our roof on and then we'll have a house by the end of the day. Meet the new guys who have an entirely different strategy based on an experience of their own. Um, this is Indigo Prime and we're from Clemson University and this is our first year participating in the Solar Decathlon. Um, so our house is fully made of plywood and we'll cut these out into these individual unique pieces that fit together like a 3D puzzle and then we take stainless steel zip ties to secure everything and that creates our structure, our cabinetry, our wall panels, our siding, everything you see on our house. So we decided early on that we're going to, going to assemble two houses. And so what we did, we, we started that assembly process back in March for the first house. We wanted to really learn from that process and see how fast we could assemble this house in Clemson so we could practice before the, the real show here. Um, and we learned that it was a much longer process than what we expected. So we have learned from that and um, done the pre-assembly that we needed to do in order to get this done in nine days here. We plan to take the full nine days. We have scheduled for eight days of assembly, but um, of course things are gonna shift in your schedule and so we've allotted a day to um, make up for that at the end. We are putting up our zip panels to um, close in the house. Um, and then later on, we will put up the siding and get the roof on there too. That's it for today's Solar Decathlon Minute. To receive daily updates throughout the entire contest, subscribe to the City of Irvine's YouTube channel. And make sure you come to the Orange County Great Park because you have got to see this event for yourself.